the Ember onto the Morphling. You're going to be able to catch them out while also doubling down on that push. You've got the Death Prophet. What do you actually... A, a draft outplay. So this is going to put us in an incredible spot here for our game one. Of course, it is our only series of the night. Boom. They've already taken one of those qualifying spots. Ooh, and that's top Tsumi. lane. Yeah, Natsumi's under the pump. Q's going to be... Oh, Q gets the kill, actually. The Marcy had enough right-click damage. I didn't think he'd be able to secure the kill with the Blade Fury, but in the end, talent fine first blur, but it does come at the cost of Marcy's life. I don't think you mind too much, KP. Get some... EXP, some much needed go. Q might be in a bit of trouble. Doesn't have a point in the rebound, so just gonna try and do as much damage as he can onto AU before they secure with a kill. The KP's gonna be loving life though. Look at this. Lane completely shoved in, doesn't have an, another hero here. Sorry for both sides. Q in trouble though. And once again, he's gonna try and get KP in range for the rebound, but another kill for Natsumi to find, so. Looks like he's off to a pretty good start. Last year to kind of struggling for the jug. Mikado can always go for the TP back refill. Bottom lane. Hide. They're going to try and beat onto Savage, but I don't know, man. This guy is... You're not killing with the stuns on cooldown. Savage is going to get... Z okay. I thought he was going to wait for me, man. Savage, he, he knows the limits of this hero very well. Yeah, he's just super comfy on it against the hero. We've seen him play a lot. Up top, though, they catch AU out here. Not another support dying. What is going on? Q and KP is going to go for a TP up, and they will not have the damage, actually. Finding as many kills himself, but he's gotten a lot of room down bot with all this movement. <laughs> uh, at least Avius gets the haste away. I was able to step in with the cookie, hold him back. Meanwhile, top lane with the familiars, AU in a bit of trouble. That's that extra damage. Certainly a little bit with the one point in the sidekick. It will come at a cost in Q. So one for one to trade, expending the life of the supports. bit of a back and forth if the morphling can get the right clicks going as well but that's really nice now to just further enable 23 savages game just opening up the map for him to get some more net worth makoto might be able to get a kill he's out of mana slides up in a couple of seconds we'll see if the damage is going to be enough makoto still considering to chase he's got a mana makoto <laughs> what's going on the available on qf he's going to look to join makoto's back alive as well you are gonna lay down the Mortimer kill. Well, so, all right. Well, Xavier is just, just gone, so low health is gonna be the tiny. But Lush is in a little bit of trouble as well. But he will have the cold embrace and the extra health coming back shortly. Radiance middle tower has been denied. Radiance KP smokes on a pop. They'll toss him Lelouch. He does have the Snapfire nearby if Hyde's going to be able to step in to get the cookie over the tree line, but Polaris will make sure they get the kill before Hyde is able to... A good core to pick up, and that should allow them to maybe get a little bit more control. Q? <laughs> they tag but not Sumi. Just gets taken away. Ooh, that's a lot of damage! Ooh. All right. 100 gold and it can be an incredible ability to help out. You're actually going to look to take the fight. Extra being on cooldown for Polaris. They're putting a lot of their attention to Xavius for at the moment. One of my kisses not going to do the trick. So Xavius is able to reposition. Talent. They do kind of force them away from the tower though. So they will be able to secure a pretty big objective. But AU is able to fly over the cliff. Finds the Winter's Curse. The cookie will not be enough to reposition. Xavius, he's trying to get the plus one. The toss is there if he can close the distance on to Hyde, but he will not. How can they enter the fight? Lelouch is a big kill if they can find it. Lotus Orb with the burst. Pretty heavy at the moment. Half health to play with. They're going to make sure they don't group up. AU's in with the Winter's Curse, but Lelouch is still in trouble for the moment. They're able to reposition into the river. They've kept the Death Prophet alive, and now they're going to turn their objective over to Savage, but the Morphling... Able to waveform down to the south. Savage going to consider oh. about jumping back into the middle. He's got the Winter Wyvern and Replicate to play with. So right-clicking from afar. Secures the kill onto the support. But look at Polaris swarming into Talon's territory. They want to hit back. They want another kill. But Xavius will not be able to catch up. KP flies back over to the high gun. So Talon will escape and to get the save or even to get a big curse. And there you go. Oh, Speaking about the curse... Look at KP. Oh, not the familiar. He's back onto himself. Yeah, they might find AU at least. Get a support out of it. 
is going to... They're at least able to get a trade across the map, though, on Polaris. T2 Tower. So all the outer towers have now been claimed. Talon... Oh, smoke on smoke. Winter Wyvern's down, so they don't have him to be able to protect the Death Prophet. They're in with the combo. And Lelouch is gone. Still, they've got to be cautious. Savage, he gets chain controlled as well. Savage, along with Lelouch, not a factor in the team fights from either side, but it looks like Natsumi, he can clean up. Chasing down KP, they'll get rid of the Visage and Xavius. He's going to try and catch up for more talent. Three heroes playing around with a higher gun. In goes Xavius to break the formation, tossing Hyde back into Natsumi's grasping hands. Look at him go. He's even, he's posturing like, come on, Makoto, get out of the way. This is my game strength that we talked about. Are Drugs you? fully online, has his body on Can he stay alive for long enough? The rest of the team's starting to connect, but it's a question of the control now. It might be enough. Oh, my. Natsumi really starting to get the damage going. 8, 1, and 4. And all they need is a couple of stuns, forced with the chain control with the dive bomb, and that was plenty to kill off Makoto. And that opens up the high ground. Morphling respawning a few. They wouldn't want to buy back in Mikado here. The push coming out from the Jug, the sustain from that healing ward. Just more than enough to get the job done. And there's no answer here Ooh. from Talon. Just down to the fact their supports aren't big team fighters. They've got great pick off. They've got that blink dispose on Q, but it's not enough to hold multiple heroes down. And whenever Polaris just clump up on them, it's just way more chain stuns coming out from the dire side here. Cool. It's going to be to go back up the high gun. They've got some barracks. I don't know. It's going to be durable for long. KP's trying to scout out with the familiars to see the positioning from the supports. The Polaris, they'll get the melee barracks and now looking to back up. Cool. Roche is falling fast. They're going to need a way to be able to start the fight. Xavius tries to blink in, scouting some of the heroes out. They're very split for the moment. Look at the curse. Not a lot of damage, but it's really just space. That's the main thing. Savage trying to play around with the Winter Wyvern and replicate. Meanwhile, KP's going down in talent. They're just looking to retreat. They cannot stick around to take this fight. They'll lose KP. Q's going to be killed off as well. So Polaris with this second roast, they're in the them. But you've lost the ward now. And look at this, the read. They know exactly where Talent are playing. They're going to lose another ward. So how do you take the fights without information? Snapfire is in trouble. Meanwhile, Natsumi off to the left side. A first hit bash. Morphling will be okay, but I cannot say the same about Hyde. And that's the gem dropped as well. Xavius. Oh, the toss on the bird. <laughs> what? A Kodo? Can they chain control him after back? Oh, What's boy. going on? Natsumi, these bashes is getting so goddamn lucky. It'll force out a BKB, a buyback as well. Savage is going to try and charge him, but the raw now with the Omni Slash, the damage might be enough. Savage is gone. No buyback on the Morphling. The cheese to drop the Polaris. Alrighty, what a game one performance. They're going to take this 36 minutes in. What a beautiful game from Dyer. Yeah, they play spectacular.